Give God some praise. Give your sister Jolie a hand. What a fellowship. What a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. We're leaning on the everlasting arm. Come on, y'all. We know it. Let's sing it to the glory and honor and praise of our God. Come on, let's sing it. What a fellowship, what a joy divine leaning on everlasting arm. Oh, what a blessedness, what a peace is mine of leaning on everlasting Yeah, oh, I'm leaning. Yes, I'm leaning. I'm safe and secure from all of love every day. I'm leaning. Yes, I'm leaning. Oh, I'm leaning on everlasting. Oh, how sweet. How sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Leaning on Everlasting, oh how bright, bright the bay goes from day to day. I'm leaning on the everlasting, yeah, oh I'm leaning, yes I'm leaning. I'm safe and secure from all of love, oh I'm leaning. Yes, I'm leaning, I'm leaning on the everlasting. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? I'm leaning on the everlasting arm. I have blessed peace, and it's with my I'm leaning on the everlasting Yeah, oh, I'm leaning Thank God I'm leaning You know I'm safe and secure From all of my every day I'm leaning Yeah, I'm leaning I'm leaning on everlasting Yes, I'm leaning. I'm safe and secure from all of love. Oh, I'm leaning. Yes, I'm leaning. I'm leaning on the everlasting. Oh, give God some praise. Turn with me to the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. The fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. I want to read verses 1 through 11. Fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke. This is according to the New King James. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled, toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. All right, all right. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. 
When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. And he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Eleven verses of that great fifth chapter of the Gospel of Luke when Jesus gave the invitation, you shall be fishers of men. May these words inspire and encourage and revive us, renew us in such a time as this, for surely these are the last days. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you so much. Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my sto story. This is my song. This is my song. I'm praising my Savior. Praising my Savior, Savior, all the day long, all the day long, this is my story, this is my story, story. this is my song, this is my song, praising my Savior. I'm praising my Savior all the day long. Let's sing it from the top. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, what a foretaste. Oh, what a foretaste. Of glory divine. Of glory divine. Heir of salvation. I'm a heir of salvation. Purchase of God. Purchase of God. I've been born of his spirit. Oh, I'm born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my story. You know this is my song. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm praising, praising my, my Savior, Savior all the day long. All the day long. Yeah, this is, this is my, my story. My story. You know this is, this my, is my song. song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praising my Savior. Praising Come on, Deacon Moore. Come on, Brother Vince. Lead us in a word of prayer. And if she's watching, she may be watching. We're praying for you, Kim. Sister Kim Burton. She's still in John's Hopkins. And we're praying for Sister Carolyn uh, Mills. She's in Good Samaritan. Carol had a fall and cracked some ribs. We're praying for you, Carol. We're praying for all those who said, pray for me. I tell you, saints, when you have your health and strength, you better thank God. Take your prayer. Take your time, Deke. Say your prayer. Good morning, St. Paul. 
God be with us. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we come to you this morning to give you the praise and give you the glory and say thank you, Father God, for bringing us through another week. Father God, we God, hold on to us, Father God. Don't let us go, Father God. As we walk this journey of life, Father God, as some say, this is our story, Father God. Each of us have a story to tell, Father God. But each of us will come to you, Father God, and ask for forgiveness, Father God. And we pray, Father God, that you will accept us, Father God, as your children, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the shelter that you give us, the food that you give us, allow us to eat. Just about whatever we want, Father God. You give us shelter, Father God, where we can lay our head down and wake up the next morning and everything is all right. You give us a, some money, Father God, that we can pay our bills and we might even can enjoy some luxuries, Father God. But Father God, we know that everything good comes from you, Father God. But Father God, we know that the world is wicked, Father God. It try to confuse us, Father God. It try to let us know that we not part of you, Father God, but we know we are because you held on to us, Father God, and we found our way in this sanctuary today, Father God. Father God, I ask that you let us know that we are special. We are your children, Father God. A whole lot of people want to say that we just go to church. No, we are the church. The church lives within our heart. We have a changed mind, a changed heart. We love you, Father God. We know how to love each other, Father God. But, Father God, we got to practice what we preach, Father God. We got to learn to turn our back on certain things. We got to learn to say, I love you. Can I help you to others? We got to learn to encourage others to come to you, Father God. Father God, we got to understand that this this is our time. It's coming short, Father God. And we know, Father God, that we got to do better, Father God. Father God, I'm praying today that you teach us how to do better. Let us understand that we are redeemed, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Let us understand that we can wear the full armor of God. Let us understand that you will help us. We give us the Holy Spirit, Father God, that teaches us to do right. We don't even want to think about the wrong, Father God. We want to live the life that you have for each of us, Father God. Father God, we praying for those who can't make it today. Those who are home, those who are in the hospital, those who say, pray for me. And we ask that you continue to bless all those who couldn't come today. We ask that you lift up all the prayers, all the spoken and unspoken prayers, all the family members that are not here today, all the friends, let us all think about our journey. Let us all think about how we can get better. Let us all think about how we can be loved and love each other. Let us all think about the glory of you, Father God. Let us all think about the word that you have given us, Father God. The word of peace, joy, happiness, love. Let us all take them words and let them live within our heart, in our body. Let us share them words with each other. Let us call somebody up today and say, I love you. I miss you. Let us lift somebody up and say, can I help you? Can I help you out today? Let us continue to be the children of Christ that you want us to be. In the name of Jesus, let the saints of God say amen. Amen. Contentment and it will come to you. I found the answer, yeah. and I learned to pray with God beside me. Oh, I found the way, I found it. I, I found, found the way. way. Say it, church, the sun is shining. The sun, the sun is shining. Shine. Turn to keep on believing. And faith will see you through. Faith, faith will, will see you through. Seek to know contentment. Seek, Seek to know 
no contentment. And it will come to you. It will come, come to you. Yes, it you. will. I found the answer when I, I learned, learned to pray. Can I get a witness in the building with God beside with me? God walking beside, beside me. me. I found the way, church. I found, I found my way. way. Now the sun is shining. The sun, the sun, the sun is shining. shining for me each day. For me, for, for me, me each, day. each day. I found the answer. I, I found. found. Aren't you glad you found the answer? Aren't you glad you found it? When I, I learned, learned, I learned to, to pray. pray. Come on, help us sing it. I found the answer. I, I found, found. I found the answer. When I learned to pray, when I learned, I learned to pray. Anybody learned how to pray with God with beside God me? God beside me. He walking beside me. I, I found, found, found the way. way. Just look, the sun is shining. The sun, the sun is shining. shining. Lord, for Lord, me, me, for me each day. Each day. I found the answer, I found it. I, I found, found the answer. answer. When I learned to pray, I when I learned, learned to pray. Come on, everybody. Oh, I, I found, found the answer. Wish I had a witness in the building. I learned to pray. With God beside me, with God. With God beside me. Oh, I found my way. I found it. I found, found the way. way. Now the sun is shining. The sun, the sun, is, is, sun shining. is shining. For me, for me. For me each day. Oh, I found the answer. I found, I found the answer. And I learned how to pray. I, I learned. learned to pray. Let's just say it one more time. If you found the answer, I found the answer. answer. When I, I learned, learned to pray. pray, I learned to pray a long time ago with, with God, God beside, beside me. He was walking beside me. I, I found, found the way. way. Now, now thank God that the sun is shining. The sun, the is, sun is shining. shining. Each and every day. For me each day. Oh, I found the answer. I found, I found the answer. When I learned to pray. When I, I learned, learned to pray. Oh, give God some praise. Yes, I did. There's a lot of truth to that song. Amen. Y'all found the answer. There is power in prayer. And the thing I love about it, one of the things prayer will do for you, it may not change the situation, but it'll change you in the situation. Prayer will give you hope when it looks hopeless. I don't mind sharing this real quick. I was at the doctor this week for my regular checkup, and I'm just so grateful. I want to shout because they gave the that I was a pastor, probably. She said, well, I know why. She, I said, why? She said, the doctor said this. She said, because you got the Lord on your side. <laughs> I said, that's, that's right. Yes, I do. And, and, and when you pray, when you pray daily, when you stay in touch with the Lord, he'll keep you. Won't he do it? And then, and, then, and then when storms rise, he'll even keep you there. Oh, yes, he will. Here in St. Paul, we believe in, in missions. We believe in offering a piece of bread and a drink of water in the name of Jesus. We're going to help folks because the Lord instructed us that when you reach out to the least of these, my father's children, he said, you reach out to me. 
So the ushers and the ushers look good and the choir look good and congregation, y'all look good. We're going to lift our missionary offering. Whatever you give in this offering will help somebody in need. Come on, children, as we lift our missionary offering. Sing quiet. Don't want to be mountains. Trees don't. They just praise the Lord. Mountains never are valleys. Mountains. They just praise the Lord. The sun, the moon, and the stars. The sun. Moon and the star, they never leave. Their heavenly place, the rivers and the oceans. They keep moving, they just keep moving, moving. If I want to be a servant, if I of the man. Of the man who made all the trees, I got to live the life that he wants me, he wants me to live. Trees don't want to be mountains, they just praise the Lord. Mountains never are valleys, mountains. Oh, they just praise the Lord. Come on, come on. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Moon. They never leave their heavenly places. The rivers and the oceans. Moving. They just keep moving. Oh, if I want to be a servant of the man, of the man that made all the trees, I've got to live the life I got to live that he want me, he want me to live. We're going to say it one more time. Listen, trees don't want to be mountains. All they do is praise the Lord. Mountains never are valleys. Mountains. Say it, say it. The sun, the moon, and the stars. They never leave. Oh, the rivers and the oceans, the river. They just keep moving from place to place. If I want to be a servant of the man, of the man, of the man. Who made all the trees? I got to live the life that he wants me. He wants me to live. Come on, put your hands together. I ain't gonna worry about the people, about the people. 
I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. Each and every day. Oh, if I want to be a servant. Anybody want to be a servant? Anybody want to be a servant? If I really want to be a servant. Of the man, of the man. Who made all the trees. I got to live the life. That he want me. Can I get a witness in the building? I just need one more witness in the building. I don't know about you, St. Paul, but I ain't going to worry no more. I used to worry about the people and what they say. But now I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. I'm going to do what he tell me, Deacon Dustin. Each and every day. Oh, if I want to be a servant. Anybody want to be a servant? If I really want to be a servant. Of the man, of the old man. That man who made all the trees. I've got to live the life. I wish I had a praying church. I wish I had a praying church. I ain't going to worry. You ain't a worry. You ain't a worry. You know that I, I ain't going to worry no more. I used to worry, Brother Curtis, about the people and what they said. I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. How many are going to do what Jesus tell you to do? Are you going to do what he tell you to do? I got to do what he tell me to do. Oh, if I want to be a servant. If I want to be a servant. If I really want to be a servant. Of the man. That man who made all the trees. I got to live the life I got to live. It. That he won me. Let's just say it one more time. Can we say it one more time? Is it alright to say it one more time? I ain't going to worry. I ain't going to worry about the people. I used to worry about the people and what they say. I'm going to do what Jesus tell me to do. I got to do what he tell me to do. I got to work while it's day. Because when night come, no man can't work. If I want to be a servant. If I really want to be a servant. In God's service. If I want to be a servant in God's service. man who made all the trees he made all the trees I've got to live I've got to live the life 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 want me to live. I ain't gonna worry, I ain't gonna work. I ain't gonna to work about the people. I'm gonna do what Jesus tell me to do. I'm going to do what he tell me to do each and every day. Say it, church. If I want to be a servant. If I want to be a servant.
If I want to be a servant of the man, of the man who made the trees, then I got to live the life. I've got to live the life that he wants me. Is that all right? Give him some praise. Give him some praise. Yes. Let the amen. saints of God amen. say praise amen. God. Praise him, praise him. There's a sweet spirit of worship and praise in the house that lets me know we're in the right house. I am so pleased to announce that it's here. The joyful burden in my life in the pastoral ministry. Amen. is this book I've been talking about. This is a biblical exposition of the pastoral ministry. It explains what it is that pastors do. And it's written from my own experience. I've only been preaching 51 years. I've only been a pastor 46 years. 44 here in St. Paul. And um, I got to say so myself, you would do well just to read it. I want you to get it and tell me what you think. Because we raise issues concerning the nature of pastoral ministry and the church. And there's going to be a prayer brunch breakfast on Saturday. And we're going to have a book signing. Amen. So be sure to come get when I got pastors waiting for there. Pastor Prentice, Pastor Cotton, Pastor Wilson, Pastor Armand at the St. Paul on the Alameda, Pastor Isaiah Banks in Second Pilgrim, Pastor Floyd James out in Chicago. I'm excited at what the Lord has done. <laughs> and, 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 and Deacon Dunstan, just say Deacon Dunstan. Saints, I, really, I... This is my life and testimony in this book. I want you to read it because I really like to know what you think. Because God has been good to me. He's taken me further in ministry than I could have ever hoped, dreamed, or imagined. Because you all know the story. I started out in 19, 1972. And when I look at how the Lord has brought me over these many years, I just say to God, be the glory. Give God some praise. Here in St. Paul, with the church committed to the Lord Jesus Christ and the proclamation of his gospel, God has given us a twofold mission. God has called us to reach the lost with the gospel of Christ, and he's called us to equip the saints to do ministry. And we're mindful of our Mission because we are saved. We are the visible representatives of Jesus Christ. God has called us, charged us, charged, called us, challenged us, charged, and commissioned us with the privilege, the responsibility, and the duty to rescue our children, to redeem our families, and to take back our community. And we shall achieve our mission one soul at a time one life at a time, one child at a time, one family at a time, for the good of God's people and to the glory of God our Father. That's who we are. That's what we're about on this second Sunday in April in the year of our Lord, 2024. Give God some praise in the house. <clears throat> and we're Christ-centered and we're biblically based. Sola Scriptura, only the Scripture. We believe that the Bible is our only source of divine truth. The Bible informs our faith. The Bible is the foundation upon which our faith is built. Jesus said, heaven and earth may pass away. But he said, my word shall stand forever. And Jesus said, man cannot live by bread alone. But we can live by every word, am I in the right house? Yes. That proceeds 
from the mouth of God. So we do all things according to the scripture. And for this, we make no apologies. The word teaches us that the tithe is holy. The tithe is separate from the offering. That sacred tent that rightfully belong to the Lord. And, and there's a promise. God says, if you give me the tithe, if you bring me the tithe, God said, I will restore 30, 60, and 100 times over. And Jesus said, if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, he said, all these other things will be added unto you. And Paul said, and my God shall supply. Am I in your right house? All of your needs according to his riches and glory. Tithers, will you come? Will you come? Come and bring that sacred tent that rightfully belonged to the Lord. And God promises a blessing. We can't bless you, but God can. We can't bless you because we have no power to bless. But God can because God has all power. And for those of you watching by way of uh, social media, go to iCash app. The, the, the tag is dollar sign HSPCBC and, and give. And, and, and we'll be grateful and we'll, you get credit for whatever you give. And the Lord will bless you. Because of your gifts, we're able to maintain our ministry. Sister Sandra Ramchor is in here, but she left her offering. Amen. Now we've all brought our gifts and contributions to the Lord. Now we're going to worship God in this, the general offering. And the mountain stand by me. The earth all around me sinking sand. Christ the solid. When I need thank, a thank you, Curtis. Oh, I, listen, I wasn't going to bend all the way down. I was going to jump there. Worst thing I want to do is fall over. <laughs> Let's worship God in this, the, the general offering. Brother Curtis is holding the basket for capital campaign. Um, well, I mean, I'm not picking on you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Come, come, come on. <laughs> Get you next time. Sister Katrina is holding the basket for Women's Day. Women, Sister Katrina is holding the basket. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh. March children. Much brothers.
I'm holding. I'm holding. I'm holding on, church. Still holding on, and I won't let go of my faith. Don't you see me down here holding? I'm holding. I'm holding on. I'm holding on, and I won't let go of my faith. I believe in the Father and His Son, but I'm holding. God knows I got my religion when I was very young. I'm a Christian. Thank God I've been saved by grace. But I had many hard trials. I was trying to run this whole race. That's why I'm holding. I'm holding. Yes, I am. I'm holding on. Still holding. And I won't let go of my faith. I believe in the Father and His Son, but I'm holding. God knows I got my religion when I was very young. I'm a Christian. Thank God I've been saved by grace. But I had many hard trials while trying to run this soul race. That's why I'm holding. I'm holding. I'm holding on, church. Holding on and I won't let. Listen. I've been ostracized and criticized, but I'm holding. God knows the things that have to suffer. They bring tears to my eyes. Listen, Satan is busy stirring up rap, gathering stones trying to block my path. The enemy afflicting all the hurt they can. They're throwing their rocks and they're hiding their hands. When you dig one ditch, you better dig two. The trap you set just may be for you. You put it in my heart, you can't change it. Souls on fire and the world can't harm me. Got me working. Calling, praying, I'm watching, waiting, trusting, believing, praying, praying, praying. I'm holding on and I won't let go of my faith. Listen, I remember the day, I remember the hour. The Lord touched me with his holy power. Wish you could have been there when I came through. The church is on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Know for myself that I've been changed. The angels in heaven done signed my name, but running. God knows he put clapping. In my heart he put shout. From my mind he took doubt. That's the reason I'm holding and I won't let. I'm going to say it one more time. I've been ostracized, criticized, but I'm holding. Anybody else holding on? The things I have to suffer, they bring so many tears to my eyes. You can see Satan is busy, stirring up wrath, gathering souls trying to block my path. The enemies afflicting all the hurt they can, throwing their rocks in their high nail hand. When you dig one ditch, you better dig two. The trap you set just may be for you. Put it in my heart, you can't change it. Souls on fire and the world can't harm. Got me working, tolling. Praying, I'm watching, waiting, trusting, keep believing, praying, 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 holding, 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 holding. When I'm lied on, I'm holding. When I'm talked about, I'm holding. When I've been mistreated, holding. Are you holding? 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 I'm holding on and I won't let go of my faith. Let go of my faith. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. All things come of be, oh Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Men, give God.
God some praise as you go to your seats. I got good news and bad news. The bad news is what you already know. This world is in turmoil. What you see going on in the Middle East is retaliation. Israel took out the leadership of Hamas, which was centered in Iran, but they took them out in Damascus. Took out the leaders of Hamas, that terrorist group, on October 6th that killed all them innocent Jews, took them hostage, and did all types of atrocities. And so yesterday, Israel retaliated. Not Israel, beg your pardon. Iran retaliated by bombing Israel. And so now, President Biden had a long conversation with President Netanyahu and his advice was to take them out. And he stated that the United States is solely behind Israel because Israel has a right to protect itself. Well, Netanyahu is going to do just that. He's going to bomb Iran. And God knows what else is going to happen. That's on the international stage. But here's the good news. In the book of Daniel, we read that it is the Lord who sets up kings and it's the Lord who takes out kings. In the book of Daniel, we read that, that the Lord our God is in control of not only individuals, but nations. So the good news is, regardless of what happens, God is still in control. He has not resigned. He has not abdicated. He has not taken a lead because Jesus said that a sparrow can't fall from the tree unless the Lord our God says so. So aren't you glad that the Lord is still in control? This is, this is, this is God's world. This is God's world. And tomorrow, for the first time in human history, in American history, first time that an ex-president goes on trial in a criminal court. And he's calling for bloodshed. But I say again, God is in control. Give him some praise in the house. Okay. Good morning, St. Paul. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good. Coming on behalf of the uh, media ministry, we have this recurring problem where we keep losing our members to college. So first give a <laughs> hand for our days going to school. But that also leaves us shorthanded come service time. Um, so we're looking for volunteers and don't want people to think this because all of our members previously have been college age that this is like a college age person's game. This is for anyone. Um, learn the tech skills for uh, media creation, production. Uh, you, you see what we do. Um, you can also learn like uh, IT, like just computer operation type basic stuff too. So if you're interested, come find me, um, or you could also send an email to a, uh, helpdesk at hspcbc.org. Wow. So once again, that's me, or helpdesk 
<coughs> excuse me, help desk at hspcbc.org. Thank you very Thank much. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Good morning, St. Paul. I'm coming on behalf of the Pastor Support Ministry. Um, as you know, the Scripture of Breakfast and Pastor's Book signing is next Saturday. Um, we have 100 tickets, and if you look around and add up everybody here, we might not even have 100 people that's coming to church. But I have a plan, a plan, a three-step plan it's called. One, you buy a ticket. If you can't come, donate a ticket and maybe we can get someone in the neighborhood, we can donate the tickets to, they can come and eat breakfast, and most of all, they can hear a word. So that's outreach ministry, pastor support ministry, and this brotherly love. Amen? We invite you to join us Wednesday night for Bible study. We're finishing up an entire unit. We're looking at uh, Peter. We study, we're studying characters, biblical characters. And we will finish up the life of Peter. Um, the class starts at 7 and we end at 8. We do a one hour Bible study and we have fun while doing it as we learn. And we do it by way of Zoom. You can go to the website and get the ID and passcode. And if you don't have a book, we put a book up on the screen that we all read from. It's a series put out by Lifeway, a Christian book company. And so join us Wednesday evening. And then on Fridays, from 12 to 1, we have our noonday prayer. We meet for one hour in the lower auditorium, and we pray together as the Bible commands us. When two or three are gathered together, touching and agreeing in my name, Jesus says, there I'm in the midst. And then he said, you can ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open. He said, if my word abides in you and you abide in me, you can ask what you will. It shall be granted. So join us on Fridays for one hour as we come together and we pray together and we solicit God's blessings upon those who sent words saying, pray for me. And we have a good time. We have a good time. The, the Lord meets us and when we leave, we all leave blessed. Sister Maria Hilton is coming. All of the visiting guests we have in our midst, we have an official welcome just for you. Sister Maria Hilton on behalf of our hospitality circle ministry. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord saints. Praise the Lord. At this time, we'd like to welcome our visiting guests. We have any visiting guests. Would you please stand? Visiting guests. Amen. Amen. Okay. On behalf of Pastor Perkins and the St. Paul family, we welcome you to our morning worship service. We invite you to get into the service with us, sing along with us, shout along with us, whatever the spirit may lead you to do. At this time, if you'd like to introduce yourself, a church affiliation, you may. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So we hope you enjoy the service with us, fellowshipping with us, and maybe this will become your church home. St. Paul, as we do every Sunday, or when we welcome our visiting guests, let us stand and sing our song. 
This is just for you. From us to you. You can remain seated. It's all right. But this is our gift to you. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your journey. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your journey. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your stay. Tell your friends and your family with the church on the corner. With the church that is dedicated to Christ and his word. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your journey. Welcome to St. Paul. We hope you enjoy your Give God some praise. Now turn to your neighbor, tell him I'm so glad you're here. And, and ladies, um, on another note, um, I will have information about the flowers for Women's Day forthcoming as soon as I get with Sister Webb. So it either either be this Sunday or next Sunday. Have a blessed day. Amen. Brother Vince just asked me if I had any books today. Thank you. But no, we don't. I, I got what is called the author's copy. It came yesterday. The rest of them should come any day next week before Saturday. And let me announce, too, fourth Sunday in this month is the annual choir day. And we want all choir participants to participate. If you sing on any choir, we're asking you to participate because the guest, the guest preacher is our friend and brother, Dr. Marshall Prentice, <laughs> pastor of the Zion Baptist Church. He will be the guest preacher on annual choir day. And then the first Sunday in May is our 74th church anniversary. Give God some praise. For 74 years, we've been together as a, you know, that's a long time. 74 years, we started out, and some of you were here at that time as a prayer, sir, as a prayer circle down on Ashland Avenue. And from the prayer circle, the church was born, born on May the 6th, 1950, 74 years ago. And so the first Sunday in May is the church's anniversary, and the guest preacher is Reverend Ray Cotton, on Mount Sinai. He's our guest, and on that day, we want to make it a big celebration. Say it, sir. Say it, Reverend. Listen, y'all, we have much to be thankful for. Amen, amen. The Lord has kept us. Yes, he has. And, and just think about, literally, the hundreds of people who came our way. Some have passed on. They now live with the Lord. Some have gone on to other places. But we're still here. We're still carrying on in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you why, why it's like that. I, I believe in my heart, 74 years from now, we're going to still be here. I may not be around, but we're still going to be having service here. And I tell you why. Because Jesus said it's my church. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It ain't y'all's church. Come on, doctor. He said, I'm putting this rock. Well, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell ain't nothing the devil can do. That's right. That's right. To stop the church. No, he can't. The coronavirus couldn't even stop the church. Because we still here. Come on, doctor. Come Give on, Give God stop. some praise in the house. Glad to have Reverend Sister Annette DuBose. Amen, amen, amen. amen. She's in the house. 
beloved wife of our beloved Ben. Amen, amen. amen. Brother Ben. Amen. I'm not saying Ben been here 74 years, but he's been around a long time. I never forget the, the, the Sunday I called Ben out. He loves to tell the story. Ben was here with his buddies, and they just came to church. And that particular Sunday, I got up, and I had a list of people that I wanted to see after the service, and Ben was one of them. Well, his buddies turned to him and said, uh-oh, what, what have you done? You, you, you going to get it because the preacher called your name. Well, come to find out, I asked him to help us with the finances. And that was many years ago, and he did, and he's still on the job. Give God some praise. Do we have any children in the house? I know we got one child. Bring, bring, bring him on down. Amen. Any other children? That's right. That's right. Amen. And I'm going to ask his grandmother, Carlisha, not Carlisha, Nicole. <laughs> Amen. Oh, and we have some young people. Come on. Come on, my brother. Amen. Amen. I just can't tell. God, give them a hand. Give these young people a hand. So good. We love our children. I just can't tell it all. So good. I told y'all when I get up, the first thing I do is, is, is take roll. So good. <laughs> so good. Believe me, Paula, we understand. Good morning. So they putting you on the spot this morning. <laughs> We're at the end of the school year, right? Anything hard right now? Chemistry. In Sunday school, we talked about having people pray for you. Now give us your first name. Kayvon wants us to pray that he had a good grade in chemistry. Y'all hear that? Because there's nothing too hard for God. And he said, ask and it shall be given. So we are going to pray for Kayvon for his, his grade in chemistry. Amen? Amen? All right. There was two others. They went downstairs. We're going to pray for them too because we're still at the end of the school year. Amen? Amen? All right. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come praying for our children. And we pray, Lord God, that you would touch their parents and their grandparents, the ones that's here and the ones we are waiting for to come, Father God, that you would bless them to be present in the days ahead, Father. But Lord, we ask a special prayer for Kayvon. School is coming to an end, and he has one class he's having a problem with, and that's chemistry, Lord. Right now, we ask you, Lord, to bless him with the wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding, capability, and the comprehension to get a good grade in that class, Father. We thank you right now, Father, for you said we could ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. So, Lord God, we thank you for the blessing. We pray for all the children. Pray for all the parents. Pray for all those that are touching their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Me. Every day. Want you to protect me as I travel on my way. I know. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, be the fence around me every day. Come on, let's say it one time, everybody. Jesus, Jesus, be a fence all around me, all around me every day. I want you to protect me as I travel. Oh, I told you to. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, be a fence all around me every day. 
Come on, let's give God some more praise in the building. How many need him to be a fence around you? Do you really need him to be a fence around you? As much as going on in this world, we want him to protect us as I travel along this narrow way. Anybody need his protection? You ought to give God some more praise just for protecting us. We're going to ask our pastor, if he don't mind, if he would help us out this morning. Is that all right? Is it all right? And we're going to dedicate this selection to our drummer, Brother Donnie, and all of our sick members, Sister Kim, and everyone that's going through something. Yes, I'm a believer. Any believers in the building? Let me see you wave your hand if you're a believer. Come on, put your hands together. Let me hear your choir. Any sopranos in the house? Say it again. Say it one more time. All right. Any altos? Any altos in the house? Any altos? Any tenors, even in the audience? Any tenors? Any tenors? Yes, I'm a believer. All right, all right. Yes, I'm a believer. Sounding good, sounding yes, good. Yes, I'm a believer. All right. Yes, everybody, everybody. I'm a believer. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a Can I get a witness? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a Listen. I believe in Jesus Christ. He's the giver of all life. Heaven, He came down. Oh, what joy I found. Oh, now I know you were not there. So say. you don't know it or where. What the Lord has done for me. Come on, come on now. Gave me the victory. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Are you a believer? I'm a believer. Everybody say yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get a witness? Oh, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. oh yeah. Say it, Can I say that again? Say it, I believe in Jesus Christ. He's the giver of all life. All right. From heaven, he came down. Go ahead, go ahead now. Oh, what joy I found. Now I know you were not there. So you don't know when or where. What the Lord has done for me. Gave me the victory. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Are you a believer? I'm a believer. Everybody say yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I yes, I do. Really do. I love the 
Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my heart. Come on now. Oh, my soul. I love the Lord. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Every day, every hour, I love the Lord. Hey, hey. Hey, do you love the Lord? Say it, brother. Say it. Do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Hey, 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 Come on, come on now. It's all my heart. All right, all right. All my soul. I love the Lord, hey, hey, I love you, Lord. Give God some, any, any believers in the house? Are there any believers in the house? Say it, sir, say it. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Every day. I love you, Lord. Every hour. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hey, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I love the Lord. I love him. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Give God some praise from our musician. That's all right, sir. We, 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 we love Brother Curtis. We know what he going to do. <laughs> We give bless. God some praise for the rhythm section. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Brother Winston on, on, on them congo. Amen, amen, amen. And Brother Donnie on the drum. Amen. Give God some praise. Turn with me to the, to the scripture lesson of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. I want to read verses 1 through 11, the extended passage. And I'm reading from the New King James. Luke chapter 5. So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. <clears throat> and he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we've toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. 
For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also was James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. As you remain standing, I want to share with you this morning from a simple but yet I believe a profound thought. Don't wash your nets too quick. God bless you. You may be seated. Am I in the right house? Don't wash your nets too quick. The Christian life and doing God's will requires patience and endurance. We must learn to trust and depend on God. For in this Christian life, sometimes we experience disappointment and we experience discouragement because things don't always work out as we had hoped. Sometimes we even suffer while doing the will of God. But the suffering is redemptive. It is redemptive because when we trust God as we suffer, God strengthens our faith. It is through the suffering, the patience and endurance that we experience the power and the presence of God. Well, such was the case in our text. Peter and his brother Andrew had docked their boat for the day as they were washing their nets. See, they were professional fishermen. And they were fishing on the lake of Gennesaret, a.k.a. the Sea of Galilee. Jesus requested that Peter pull his boat out from the dock a little ways. And he did. That's when Jesus sat in the boat and began, he began to teach. He proclaimed and he explained the profound and the awesome truths of God concerning the kingdom. Jesus taught with authority and he taught with power, but not as the scribes. He taught as no other religious leader had ever taught. And he baffled and he stunned the crowd with his insight and his knowledge. At the end of the lesson, Jesus told Peter and his brother Andrew as they were washing their nets, settling down for the day, Jesus asked them to go back out. Jesus told them, Go back out and put your nets in the water. You're going you're gonna to get a catch. But that's when Peter told him. Peter said, Lord, I mean no disrespect. But, uh, but we were out there all night. We were fishing all night. We cast our nets all night. Yet we caught nothing. Peter could have told Jesus, now, wait a minute, sir, stay in your lane. You a rabbi, you a teacher. I ain't trying to tell you how to teach. So don't try to tell me how to fish. Wake up and help me preach. Because Peter could have told Jesus, listen, we mean no disrespect but we are fishermen by profession. And we know these waters. This ain't the first time we've been out here. Lord, the fish are simply not biting. But then, but then Peter realized that it might be possible 
that Jesus just might be Israel's promised Messiah. This guy might be the son of the living God. This guy might have a special connection with God. So he said, Lord, even though we've been out there fishing all night and caught nothing, nevertheless, at thy word, we going back. We doing this, not really because we want it, but we doing it because you said so. And when they did, Luke tells us that they caught so many fish until they had to call for help. Other boats came and assisted, but there were so many fish until the other boats began to sink. This was the greatest and most successful catch these men had ever seen since they'd been fishing. When Peter saw this, he fell and he humbly bowed at Jesus' feet. And he confessed. He said, Lord, depart from me because I am a sinful man. I get drunk. And sometimes I cuss. Wake up and help me preach. I am not the kind of man that you might want to be with. But Jesus told Peter and his brother Andrew, and then he told James and his brother John, he said, follow me, and I'm going to make you fishers of men. Follow me, and you will no longer fish for fish, but you're going to fish for men. Can I get some help in this house? These men were washing their nets Preparing for another time. They had to wash their nets because when you fish by a net, sometimes algae, debris, and clutter gets in the net. And it hinders from catching the fish. And I read where if you don't wash the net, when that stuff dries, the net will stink. It smells like dead fish. And nothing smells worse than dead fish. These men use nets to fish. And so they were washing the nets. Here's what they did. They threw the nets out in the water, Brother Dunstan. Because I know when y'all go fishing, y'all don't use nets. Y'all use poles. But, but, but here's what they did. They, 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 were through the, they threw the nets out on the water over a large area um, and then slowly they would pull the net together. Now the net was weighted down with weights and slowly they would pull the net together and as the net came together it would, it would catch fish. It would catch all kinds of creatures under the surface of the sea. Uh, we know that Peter, after they made this catch, Peter confessed, and perhaps there were others who confessed, that this got to be the Messiah. This got to be the Son of God. Because we've been out here all night, and we caught nothing. He told us to go back, and now we have never caught this amount of fish since we've been fishing, they learned a very valuable lesson. Don't wash your nets too quick. Because when you're serving the Lord, things are not always as they appear. I believe I said something. I said when you're serving the Lord, things are not always as they appear. See, God has a way of working all things out even when we don't understand. God's got a way of making things happen when logically you see no way that it can happen. 
Peter and these men went through a process. And you know, that's how the Lord often works. He takes us through a process. Because the Christian life is likened to a journey. When you're following Christ, you're on a journey from earth to glory. First of all, Peter and the boys failed. They were out there in the deep blue sea. They were out there in the Sea of Galilee casting their nets, fishing all night long, and caught nothing. I say again, they were not novices. They were professional fishermen who were very familiar with their surroundings out there in the deep. They knew who they were, and they knew what they were doing. Yet they failed in all their efforts. When it was all over, it must have felt like a wasted effort to have toiled all night with nothing to show for it. And then to have Jesus tell them, now go back out. <laughs> that, that was no doubt humiliating. Because Jesus was not even a fisherman. Jesus was a carpenter. They could have said, Lord, we mean no disrespect, but you don't know nothing about fishing. And you know, nothing is more discouraging and disillusioning than to put forth your best effort and fail. Can I get some help in this house? Nothing is more discouraging. You, you give it your best shot. You prayed about it. You trusted the Lord. And you've done what you thought was right. And you spared no effort. And you gave it your all. And yet, you fail. That will make you want to give up. And if you're not careful, you will. But just remember the words to that great hymn. When you give it your best, and it looks like nothing happened, if when you give... The best of your service, telling the world that the Savior is come. Be not dismayed when men don't believe you. He'll understand and say, well done. But then if you try and you fail in your trying, hands sore and scarred from the work you've begun, take up your cross. Run quickly to meet him. Because he'll understand. And say, am I in the right house? Oh, when I come to the end of my journey. Withered and worn. Bear up the staff. Run quickly to meet him. Because he'll understand. And he'll say, well done. You see... We are servants of the Lord. We seek to please him and not somebody else. Therefore, if we fail in our trying, it's all right because it was never really about them. It was always about him. You're not serving people. You're not looking for accolades. Oh, I wish they had some help in it. You, 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 you ain't looking for compliments and all like that and praise down here when you're serving the Lord. You're doing it to please him. And when it's all said and done, you want to hear him say, well done. So don't wash your nets too quick. Because God ain't finished with you yet. Even though you can't see it, victory will come after a while. Can I get some help in this house? But, uh, but, 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 but then secondly, secondly, uh, their failure led to frustration. And failure will do that. I have no doubt that perhaps Peter, Andrew, James, and John may have thought, after this, about taking some time off. 
Perhaps they thought they needed a vacation or some kind of break. After all, they stayed up all night fishing. Believe it or not, see, these men just didn't fish like some of us. And I don't fish. But I know people go fishing like on a nice trip. Excuse me, as a time to get away. But, but these men were commercial fishermen. They, 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 they were commercial fishermen. Uh, they, they, they fish during all seasons. They worked during the summer, fall, winter, and spring. They worked morning, moon, morning, noon, and night. These men just didn't go on fishing trips. They fished all year. For this was their livelihood. And I'm sure after that one experience of working all night and catching nothing, it led to frustration. Imagine the stress and anxiety they must have felt. Fishing was their livelihood. This is how they paid their bills. First they fished, and then they sold the fish in the marketplace. That's how they made their money. And just like we enjoy seafood, so did the people during the New Testament times. They caught lobsters, crabs, laid trout, and different species of fish, and they sold them in the marketplace. I know that's right, because when I went to Israel in in uh, 99, when we were in Galilee, there was a very popular restaurant called St. Peter's Place. And, and in St. Peter's Place, you could get lobsters. You could get crabs. You could get lake trout. You could get any kind of fish you wanted. Fish ain't only in the Chesapeake. Can he get some help in this house? The same fish are everywhere. Well, 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 people like seafood back then as they do today. No doubt there were times when some of them thought of perhaps choosing a different line of work when they went out and caught very little. Because that, that was, a, that was, a, that was a, a, a huge effort. And it was expensive. Failure always leads to frustration. Sometimes when you fail, it can lead to frustration. Frustration may even lead to depression. And that might lead to anger. And failure and anger breeds discouragement. Peter and his brother Andrew, James and his brother John, the sons of Zebedee, were probably ready to quit at least for that night. But as they were washing their nets, as they were getting ready to call it a day, Jesus asked Peter, first of all, can you pull out from the dock? Because I want to use your boat as my pulpit. Peter agreed. So Jesus sat down and taught the multitude who had gathered around him. He taught them the eternal truth concerning the kingdom of God. He unfolded the mysteries of heaven to an anxious congregation. Well, when the lesson was over, Jesus said to Peter, basically, now I'm going to bless you. He told Peter and Andrew to go back out. And according to another writer, Peter said, Jesus told him, and this time, I'm going with you. And then cast your nets down. Now notice Jesus didn't tell James and John, but he told Peter and Andrew. Because James and John came to help later when they called them because they had such a great catch. And Peter said, Lord, at your word, we're going back out. 
this is not really what I had in mind. I really wanted to call it a day. I was about to go home and forget about what happened. But because you said so, we'll go back out. How many know, how many realize in this house that if the Lord says so, you need to go back out? Don't argue. Don't question. Because if the Lord says so, you need to go back out. Because every promise the Lord makes, he will keep. Am I right about it? Even though you may not be able to see it at the time, the Lord's going to keep his word. Peter and his brother Andrew, they went from failure to frustration, but then they went to faith. That was the process. They started out with failure, turned to frustration, but because of Jesus, he transformed it to faith. Peter and his brother Andrew said, Lord, we'll trust you even though we fail. Lord, we trust you. We'll trust you even though we were frustrated. We'll trust you because we believe that you can do what nobody else can do. I said, we're going to trust you because we believe that you can do what nobody else can do. Lord, we, we won't wash our nets too quick. We were ready to give up. We were ready to walk away. But at your word, we'll go back out. We won't wash our nets too quick. Lord, we know that if we have the faith, you got the power. Said we know that if we have the faith, you got the power. You got the power to put fish where there was no fish. For you can do what no other power can do. Can I get a witness? I come to tell somebody never underestimate the power of our God. I said never underestimate the power of our God because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or even think. God is able to move mountains. He's able to heal sickness. And he's able to work all things out. Am I in the right house? Can I get a witness? And he can do it. I said he can do it. Because Jesus, he healed the sick. And he raised the dead. He cleansed the lepers. And he gave sight to the blind. He unstopped deaf ears. And unloosed stammering tongues. Jesus, one afternoon. He opened bakery shops and fish markets by the roadside. And he took five barley loaves and two small fish, said a word of grace, and fed over 5,000 with 12 baskets left over. And one day, he spat on the ground and he made a chemical solution and he, or he anointed a man's eyes and he told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. 
And the man went and washed and received his sight. Can I get a witness? And then late one night, he walked out on the water and he calmed the raging sea. He said, peace, be still. And the winds died down. The waves laid down. And the storm calmed down. Everything got quiet. That's when the disciples scratched their heads and they marveled looking at one another and said, what kind of man is this that even the sea obey his command? Can I get a witness? I come to tell somebody that God, God's got the power. Oh, yes, he does. I said, God, God's the power. Because he raised Jesus from the dead. You see, Jesus walked dirt roads that we might walk golden streets. He drank vinegar mixed with gall that we might drink the pristine water of eternal life. He carried a cross that we might wear a crown. He went down into the grave that we might come up out of the grave. He died that we might live because early one Friday they marched him out to a hill called Calvary. Can I get a witness? Am I in the right house? They hung him high and they stretched him wide and he died uh, he died on an old rugged cross and they buried him in a brand new tomb but God's got the power I said God he got the power because early 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 Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hand. I feel my help here. And then God has given him a name that's above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess. At the name of Jesus, they shall proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Is there anybody here who ever called on the name of Jesus? Won't he fix it? Won't he do it? Won't he work all things out? Can I get a witness? Can you say yeah? So don't wash your nets too quick. I said don't wash your nets too quick. Because God, he got the power. I said, God, he got the power. He can answer your prayer. He can heal your body. He can fight your battle. He can provide all of your needs. He can make a way out of no way. And God, oh God, can work all things out. He can do what nobody else can do. Am I right about it? Are you saved? Do you know him? Ain't he all right? Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Can you say yeah? Can you say yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you say yeah? Oh, yeah. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Can't nobody do me. Nobody do me like my God. Nobody do me like Jesus. He is 
my there can't nobody do me like Jesus nobody do me like my God nobody 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 he is my yeah, he picked me up, turned my life around. Yes, he did. He picked me up, turned my life around. Hallelujah, Jesus picked me up, turned my life around. Yeah, he is mine. Yeah, then he healed my body, told me to run on. Yes, he did. He healed my body. Told me to run on. Hey, he healed my body. Told me to run on. He is mine. Yeah, keep your mind on Jesus. 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 Put your hands together. Put your feet on the floor. Let the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together. Put your feet on the floor. Let the Holy Ghost. Let's have church. 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 Keep your mind on Jesus. 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 Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. Freed me oh, hey, forever. Reverend. One day, he's coming back. Glorious day. One day, they led him. Up to Calvary's mountain. One day they nailed him to die on the tree. Suffering anguish, despised and rejected. Bearing our sins, my Redeemer is he. Oh, send him on down. Send him on down, yeah. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Yeah. Send him Lord, on down. Right. Send it on down. Send him on down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Oh, oh, oh. send him on down. Say it, Reverend. Send him on down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Yeah, send him on down. Send him on down, yeah. We need power. Power. We need power. Power. We need 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 power. Can't nobody do me. Nobody. Do me like my God. Ain't found nobody yet. Do me like Jesus. He is mine. Give God some praise. Don't wash your nets too quick. Don't give up on God.
Because God is at work even though when you don't know it. Shall we all stand all over the house? Somebody here may not be saved. We invite you to come to know Christ as a personal Savior. This is not to embarrass you. This is not to put you on the spot, but this is simply to offer you the invitation to salvation. Somebody may be saved but have need of a church home. Would you consider St. Paul? We're just a group of loving people who love the Lord, and we love one another. And we love to have church. Will you come so that we can welcome you and embrace you as members in the family of God? Come too far. And I'll never turn back. God is. God is. God is. God is. Will you come, Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you. By meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for, you, for your soul. He said, for my yoke is easy. Yes, he is. Yes, he my is. My burden is light. Somebody may be watching. He may not know Christ. It's as simple as A, B, C. A, I acknowledge the fact that I am a sinner. B, but I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. And C, I confess my sins. And I confess Jesus as my Savior. If you pray that prayer and ask him to come in, he'll do just that. And now that you're saved, you need a church home. You need a family you can call your own. You need a pastor. You need the saints for your covering. Because when you're out of fellowship, you're also out of the will of God. And that's a dangerous place for a child of God to be. You need to come. And the Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. That's it, that's it. This may be your last chance. Will you come? Because God is. God is. God is. God is. God is my all. Well, if you're saved and you know you're saved, give God some praise. It's prayer time. Come on down to the altar. We, we, we we don't know the child, but it's been requested, and we're going to do that, that we pray for that child who got shot in Mondaman Mall. Just a baby, nine years old, seven years old, at the mall. Amen. You will. Got caught because now some knuckleheads as shooting at each other. And that's what usually happens. Innocent people get caught up in foolishness, asking the Lord to heal that child and to strengthen her family. We've got the minister to us, a baby who was innocently shot 
in a public mall. Always. Trust in the Lord. God help us. And then we're praying for all the sick. Miss Kim, we're praying for you. Sister Carolyn, we're praying for you. We're praying for all those we can't call by name. Because there's so many. We're praying. Because prayer changes things. Prayer changes people. And one of my prayer requests is that the Lord will keep the church strong. Because God is in need of a witness. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Believe me, saints, if there's ever a time. Say it good, sir. When God needs a witness. That's right, a witness, a witness. To this wicked world. Trust him. That's right, that's right. He needs right. it today. Yes, sir. And my prayer is that historic St. Paul will be such a witness. That people give God some praise. That's right. That when people come in our midst, they'll see Jesus high and lifted up. Come on, Deacon Ferguson, Brother Melvin. Take us to the altar. Take your time and say your prayers. Lean not to your own. Let us pray. I stretch my hands to thee. No other help that I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, Lord, where, where, where shall we go? Lord, it's once more and again that we come calling on your holy and righteous name. Oh, Lord, we come thanking you this day for this another opportunity just to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. Lord, Lord we thank you for your mercy. Lord, we ask that you would teach us how to pray, Lord, and teach us the thing to pray for. Not our will, but thy will be done. So right now, Lord, we are asking that you would come around this altar, that some are kneeling, some are standing hand in hand, some are sitting in the congregation, and others are watching on social media. But wherever they are, Lord, you know where they are, you know who they are, and you know what they stand in the need of, Lord. So right now, Lord, we just want to thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, clothed in our right minds, the blood still running warm in our veins. Lord, we was not able, not just able to wake up, but we was able to get up, Lord. Even though it might sound so simple, but so many people wasn't able to get up. They, was, they wanted to get up, but they just couldn't get up. And we got up, not because we are special, Lord. Not because we done everything right. Not because we deserve all your goodness, oh Lord. But we got up because you are so merciful, Lord. You're so kind, oh Lord. And we just can't help but thank you, Lord. Because where would we be without you today, Lord? How could we make it without you, Lord? How could we run on without trusting you, Lord? So we're going to trust you, Lord. Lord, we're going to lean on you, Lord. We're going to look to you, oh Lord. So Lord, we are praying that you would forgive us of all our many sins. Somewhere along the line, we may have said some things, done some things that wasn't word of a child of God. Lord, we pray that you would just remove it, that you would remove all that pride, Lord, that you would remove all that selfishness, Lord, that you would remove all that anger, Lord, that we have in us, oh Lord. Lord, let us be real, Lord. Let us not fake it. Somebody said fake it until you make it. But we don't want to fake it, Lord. We want to be real, Lord. Oh, Lord, we want to be real. Because as Birkin been preaching, time, time is winding down. If you don't know, Lord, 
You better get to know them. All you got to do is just watch the news. Look around in your neighborhood. Look around in the streets. So if you don't know Lord, you better get in a hurry and know him, Lord. Because time, time is winding down, Lord. They said there would be wars, rumors of wars, oh Lord. And Lord, we, everything that you said is going to happen. And we see something happen, Lord. On the other day, everybody was amazed looking at the eclipse, oh Lord, in wonder. But, oh Lord, we in wonder because it was you who made that sun. It was you who, who made that, that moon. It was you who made this earth. And we just can't help but praise you. We can't help but thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. All that you promised you would do. Lord, we know you're to give out guarantees. Because you a man that cannot lie and will not lie. Because, oh Lord, we know that you stand. Your word is true. But we just got to trust you, Lord. We got to believe in you, Lord. Because the devil keeps telling us there's no hope. You're not going to do nothing. He can't do. He can't help you. But, Lord, we declare that the devil is a liar and the truth is not in him because I know what he can do because he picked me up out of the mock and the miry clay and he placed my feet on a rock to stay so the devil can tell me all well, what he can do. But I know who brought me this far and he's going to take me all the way home and I'm going to continue to trust them. So, Lord, we are praying that you would bless all those who are around this altar. I don't know what they stand in the need of, Lord. Lord, but you know all about their situation. Lord, you know what they need, even before they ask, oh, Lord. But when they ask, we got to believe that you can do what no other power can do. James say we, we ask, but we don't believe that you can do. So, Father God, we just got to trust you, Lord. We got to lean on you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we got to be like those three Hebrew boys. Oh, Father God, we got to be like Daniel. When he was in the lion's den, he had the courage, oh, Lord. He stood up, and the Father God, and you rebuked the devil, oh, Lord. Oh, Father God, just mend broken relationships, Lord. Bring people back to church, oh, Lord. Oh, Father God, we, we need you, Lord. It's just so much taking place around us, oh, Lord. We don't understand it. But you said that we would understand it by and by, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, you said that we may endure for a night, but joy, real joy will come in the morning, oh, Lord. Lord, we are praying for all those who said to pray for somebody's body might be wrapped up in pain. Don't know whether they can get well. The doctor has gave them some bad news, oh Lord. But oh Father God, we know that nothing formed against us should prosper. Because we are more than a conqueror, oh Father God. And everything he's doing, we got to know that he's doing for our good. He said he would never leave us. He said that he would never forsake us, oh Lord. Oh Father God, we are calling on your Lord. Some, some is in the hospital. We're calling on you that you would bless Sister Kim on today, Lord. Lord, we are, we are praying that you would bless Sister Curlin on today, Lord. Oh, Father God, we are, we are still praying for our own brother Lee on today, Lord. Lord, we are praying for Sister Moore on today. We are praying for Sister Richburg on today. Lord, we are praying for, for, for Sister Allen on today, Lord. Oh, Lord, we are, we are praying for him. Sister Wilson on today, Lord. Oh, Father God, we are still praying for Brother Dustin on today, Lord. We are praying for his cousin Curtis on today, Lord. Oh, Father God, we know that you are a doctor who has never lost a patient. Oh, Lord, we are still praying for Sister Marie Brown on today. We are praying for Sister Charlotte Williams on today, Lord. We are praying for Sister Lula on today, Lord. I'm praying for my daughter Kelly on today, Lord. I'm praying for my aunt 
Maddie on today, Lord. I'm praying for my cousin Mariama on today, Lord. Lord, we are just praying for all those. Lord, we are praying for Brother Vince's brother on today. Sister Gail's brother on today, Lord. Lord, we are praying for Sister Spence's brother on today, Lord. We know that you can do what no power can do. Lord, we are praying for Sister, Sister Cynthia Callum on today. In the loss of her nephew, Lord, we pray that you would bring, wipe their tear stained eyes. Let earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Lord, we are praying for St. Paul that you would teach us, Lord. Teach us how to love one another. Teach us how to bear one another's burdens. Make us worthy to be called your child, Lord. Oh, Father God, we need you, Lord. We need you. We praying for our pastor today, Lord, that you would continue to bless him, that you would continue to use him in your service, oh, Lord. We praying for his family. We praying for the absent part of the church, oh, Lord. Lord, we are praying for that, that little girl that got shot on yesterday. Lord, we are still praying for those workers who, who lost their lives and on the bridge. We're praying for that family, Lord. Lord, we are praying for our government, Lord. Lord, it's just so much going on. But we still know that you in control. We know that you sit high, but you still look low. And that you have all power in your hands. Lord, we are praying for our, our, our wives today, Lord. We're praying for our husbands today, Lord. Lord, we're praying for our, our, our children today. We're praying for our grandchildren. We're praying for our, our mothers, our, our fathers, our sisters, and our brothers. We're praying for our aunts and our uncles. We are praying for everybody, Lord. We are praying for everybody because prayer is always in need. Oh, Father God, if we don't can do nothing else, we can call on your name. Because there's no name like your name. I call you my Savior. I call you my Lord. I call you my friend. You said that you would stick closer than a brother. Lord, just, just bless us, oh Lord, in a mighty way. And Lord, when we have done all the things that you assigned us to do, Lord. Lord, we pray that you would give us a home somewhere. Somewhere over there where Job declared that the wicked would cease from troubling us. And our weary soul shall find rest. Over there where there won't be no more crying. No more dying. Just hotty, hotty and never goodbye. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, when we have come to the end of our journey, Lord, we want to hear you say, well done. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up and I'll make you a ruler over many. Oh, Lord, we are doing this not for ourselves, but we're doing it to please you, Lord. And sometimes we can't please people because no matter what you do for them, they might talk about you. They might lie on you. They might stab you in your back. But we're doing it just to hear you say, well done. And these and all of the blessings, Lord, we ask in your name and for our sake. Let all the people of God say amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shall we all stand? Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, may he make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. To Jesus the Christ, to whom be glory, 
majesty, dominion, and power now and forevermore. Everybody sing it all. Sing it all, man. Sing it all, man. Everybody sing it all. Amen. Sing it all, man. Perkins love you.